Every day, Janine Monty can go for a walk. She does. She lives with chronic pain and last year was told she could no longer take the opioids that allowed her to function. And I was going to the gym five times a week. I was running my business, you know, and they took the medications away and all of that was gone. More than three million Australians live with chronic pain. Many rely on opioid pain medications. But in June 2020, the federal government tightened the rules on how those drugs could be prescribed in a bid to address opioid-related deaths. Our rates of prescription opioid-related mortality have doubled in the last 10 years or so. For people with non-cancer chronic pain, only smaller quantities of opioids can be prescribed, with no repeat prescriptions allowed. Patients experiencing long-term pain can still get the drugs if they don't respond to other painkillers. But larger quantities and repeats need government authorisation. Hundreds of distraught patients contacted Pain Australia. Many people have been extremely distressed, some of them suicidal, and that's been a really uh, awful part of this uh, policy change. Speak to your GP about other pain management options. The government has now rolled out ads encouraging the use of other therapies. Many chronic pain patients say options like psychological support and pain clinics are out of reach. People living with pain conditions should be able to access affordable pain treatments and that really should occur before we make changes to the only treatment that they can afford and have ready access to. There is nobody who wants to reduce my pain any more than me. Janine Monty has found a doctor willing to regularly review her opioid use which means she could be back on a low dose next month. Sophie Scott, ABC News.